locked and loaded. Second platoon rolls out. They're traveling 30 miles west on the paved A1 highway before they turn off onto a dirt supply route that's littered with buried bombs. For the light of here, let's get this. Outside the walls of the base, the slow-moving convoy is dangerously exposed. This is the Taliban's home turf, and the insurgent fighters are everywhere. But they don't wear a uniform. Blake and his men are a tempting target for roadside bombs. Sniper fire, rocket-propelled grenades, and suicide bombers. is getting ready to turn off. 30 miles west of the base, second platoon is leaving the A1 highway, one of the few paved roads in the country. We're about to go off road. It's gonna get bumpy. But bumps are the least of the platoon's problems. The unpaved supply route makes it easy for insurgents to bury homemade bombs. The unit is on high alert. Since we uh, turned onto this route, clearance all the way over there because this is a known spot for uh, victim operated IEDs. Most IEDs are made from a few simple parts. A power source, like batteries. A main charge, like homemade explosives. A detonator to set off the main charge. And a switch like a pressure plate or tripwire that closes the circuit and triggers the IED. 